All right, guys, this video is going to be a little bit different than our normal videos. So I want to talk about an issue that I think is becoming an issue, and it's about Instagram and copyright infringement or what's kind of a gray area or becoming a gray area. Um, a buddy of mine, Brendan Vanson, uh, I'm sure if you guys have been watching this channel or subscribed, you guys know Brendan, uh, released a video a couple of weeks ago, uh, maybe about a week ago, about a, an Instagram page in Greece that used one of his images without his permission, and it's a, it was a tourism board, and it was kind of an ad that was put on their page, and um, you know, which is pretty much a direct a direct copyright infringement and uh, he messaged Instagram and let him know what was happening and Instagram essentially just didn't care you know they they blocked him from seeing it but other people could still see that very same post so they really didn't do anything and I started kind of thinking about that and started kind of you know the last couple of days um, so I just I decided I wanted to make this video. Now in that video, Brendan gave an example of if he's at Starbucks and he you know takes a fit picture with his phone of a coffee cup or whatever it is, and you know Starbucks shares it, and uh, he's like, oh you know that's fine, no big deal. Um, then F Stoppers ran an article about that and how you know a pro photographer is giving away his uh, his photos for free. Now. Little misguided, but uh, Brendan kind of corrected it, and F Stoppers, you know, kind of accepted the blame for kind of jumping ahead without getting a hold of Brendan. And what I'm going to do is down in the description, I want you guys after this video is done to to watch these videos so you can get a little bit of context of why I wanted to start this and uh, record this video. So let me give you guys an example of why I think this is an issue. So there are feature pages all over Instagram. It's a huge thing, you know, and and. Um, let's say there's a, an Instagram page that has 500,000 followers. They feature all kinds of photographers, you know, these beautiful landscapes and, and, you know, from all over the world. And all of a sudden they want to start selling merchandise or they want to start selling presets, which they do. There's a lot of pages that do sell presets now. And the issue is, is they have gotten this huge following from featuring other photographers. So essentially using other photographers images, built a giant following, then started monetizing their, their, their page. And to me, that's a huge deal. And if it was any other medium, if it was a magazine and they were to use an image without permission or without paying the photographer and, you know, used it to sell their magazine or sold ads in the magazine and, or had subscriptions, it would be a direct copyright infringement. But for some reason, it's a, kind of an unspoken rule that Instagram, it's okay to do something like that. You know, like there's a, you know, let's say there's a page, uh, you know, I don't know, visit wherever, visit Mexico or visit California or wherever. Um, and let's say they have these 20 images they collected of, you know, the southern region of California, you know, Death Valley and San Diego and, and a lot of these beautiful images. Let's say there's 20 of them. And let's say there is a, somebody who wants to take a vacation and they see this, this page and they go, oh man, look at all these beautiful photos. And they go on to visit California's website and they book a tour or they book hotels through them or something like that. Uh, none of these photographers or the people who are featured on these pages or on, on, this, on these posts are paid. Now, I'm sure a lot of the photographers you know, gave them permission to post maybe not thinking of this. And I think that's where we need to focus some of our attention is educating photographers and maybe having, not having that mindset of just, hey, yeah, you can share my photo. Now, up until recently, until you know, this kind of issue came to my attention, I would let people share my photos. You know, no problem, yeah, just give me credit and maybe I'd get you know, 10, 20 followers or something like that. But, uh, Looking at it from this angle, since Brendan made this video and F Stoppers wrote that article, um, I kind of look at things a little bit different now. You know, like I said, maybe these pages don't even start out that way. Maybe they start out really small and they want to feature somebody, and uh, the photographer's like, Yeah, sure, no problem. You're not a business. But, you know, over a year, they get up to 500,000 followers, and they're like, Oh, and now we're going to make presets and sell t shirts and, and all this stuff. So now, They've built their following with other photographers' work, and now they start to profit off of that. They start benefiting financially off of other people's work without paying them. 
So it, it is a very, very gray area, and it's something that I'm still kind of developing my own opinion about it, really, but it's something that I wanted to, to, to talk about um, and how social media, for some reason, and Instagram in particular, um, it's almost accepted. You know, in any other place, it would be direct copyright infringement. But for some reason, you can now use in social media, you can use as a business or a travel you know, destination or tourism board or a clothing company or anything like that, you know, you can you can now make money by sharing people's work for absolutely free. And so this is an issue that's relatively new, you know, last five or 10 years, really, this is starting to pick up traction. And I believe it's really starting to spill over into other mediums. You know, like I said, I just had a, a couple of months ago, I had a magazine that I had submitted some art, an article uh, to be paid for, you know, I submitted an article and some photos as, um, you know, as a pitch. And I got a response back from the editor saying that they don't pay for work. And that, you know, if, if I let them run this article and these photos for free, that um, I would be exposed to all their readers. You know, they have one million readers, you know, every month for their articles. And it's a digital online magazine. And this is a, a real response. And what I think is happening is, these companies, not only Instagram and the pages on Instagram and the businesses on Instagram, but these companies are, are starting to see that they can get work for free from photographers. And I think it's really becoming a big issue, especially for people like myself um, who are wanting to make this a career, who are wanting to make money from their photography. You know, and, and, and there's a, a mindset, I think, of people who are kind of like myself um, that maybe don't think it's a big issue to have another company share their, their photo. Now, you know, I said it was certainly the case for me up until recently and you know oh yeah I would love to have this this page that has 200,000 followers share my photo I can get some followers and uh, it's a the reason why I think this is such a great area is because what if this page shares my photo and I get 50 followers from them sharing it what if one person out of that 50 buys a print or buys a you know spends thousands of dollars on a travel you know photography workshop then i then i've made my money back and benefited from them sharing it but <laughs> like i said that's not guaranteed that's that's a very very gray area and it's it's a new it's a new issue that's, that's presented itself with with social media and so that's why i think it's such an important topic to touch on and I don't at this point think that there is a one solution for this, but I think it's definitely something that we need to start having a conversation about. It's very complicated and you know a lot of times these pages are ran by photographers. So we're essentially shooting ourselves in the foot, one by giving away our photos to these pages to let them share for free, to let them grow their Instagram because I mean if you look at the Instagram Explorer page, it is mostly feature pages. It's not even the artist anymore, you know, and it's, that's a whole different issue that I don't want to get into, but, you know, the benefit really is with those pages. And, you know, like I said, a lot of times these are photographers running these pages. And what I see do, them doing is they get a big following with these pages and then they make themselves very visible on these pages, whether it's through their stories, whether it's in the bio, they have all created, this page is created by so-and-so photographer. Um, and then, you know, what, you know, people will follow that photographer, you know, or maybe they'll feature me if I, if I follow them and talk to them and, and do this. So, uh, they'll follow these photographers. So the photographer gets a following and maybe they'll sell a workshop or a print because of their feature page that they've built on other photographers work. So it can get very convoluted, very fast. I'm not entirely convinced that this is a major issue maybe it is I don't know I'm, this has been an issue that I've been thinking about just over the last couple of days and it's something that is new and I really would love to start a conversation about it you know and and see kind of maybe some possible solutions and I don't think obviously it's gonna be one solution but maybe something um, I kind of had an idea it's not a very well thought out idea but it is an idea about maybe having if you're a business and you're making money through Instagram and you're sharing photos, maybe there should be a pay button or something, you know, like if you're selling presets, if you're selling merchandise and you're featuring, featuring other people's work, um, either have like a tab that says, you know, I paid this photographer this much or, you know, or I can pay 
per post. It's not a well thought out plan, but I, I just I, I really want to think about not just having the conversation, but maybe thinking of of a solution that's beneficial to everybody. Instagram is not protecting intellectual property. They're not protecting the creator at all. Uh, evidence of, of Brendan's situation, you know, so but I want to know your guys' opinion on this. I want to know in the comments below what you guys think, if this is an issue, if I'm completely off base. Now, I tend to be more towards Brendan's point of view and f-stoppers, and I don't think that it's right, um, generally. You know, I do support a couple of pages that have featured my work, and they haven't paid me for those features. Um, but like Benro, Benro USA has featured several of my photos, but they've also helped out this channel. They helped me with a giveaway of a tripod on my 20K giveaway. So I have a buddy of mine who runs a, a clothing company and they, they have paid for me to go out to Big Bear to shoot for them and paid you know for a big cabin and Big Bear and food and everything. So they've, they've compensated me for that. Uh, but they don't compensate when they feature my post. But that's something that I feel like I've been compensated for, so I'm allowing that to happen. And so I think, like I said, there's the uh, it's a very gray area and a very convoluted issue. But it's something that I think we need to talk about. So make sure you guys comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, in the description, make sure you go check out Brendan's videos on this so you can get a little bit more context on what happened. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.